Let's look at how to scan for the femoral nerve block. We're going to start by putting the probe in the femoral crease. Our first landmark we need to find is the femoral artery. We want to make sure this is the common femoral artery, and we'll do this by scanning cephalad and chordad, or up and down, so we can see the bifurcation of superficial femoral and deep. So here we can see common femoral artery, and then splitting out to superficial and deep, and back again. The next thing I'm looking for isn't the nerve, it's the iliacus. We want to see what this muscle looks like, and then we want to see what the fascia iliaca looks like. And we're going to use these as references, because surprisingly often, it can be difficult to see the femoral nerve initially. And this is the case in this scan. So here's a nice view of the iliacus muscle, and then we're going to focus on the fascia iliaca above it. We're going to follow that fascia iliaca medially towards the artery, and we're going to look for the nerve. A common mistake is to think that this triangular fat pad is the nerve. As you see, if we tilt the probe looking for that anisotropy, we can see that the nerve is this small structure here. There's a couple of other interesting structures here. As we slide and tilt the probe, we'll see the interaction between the femoral head and acetabulum becoming the pelvis. The view you'll be looking for when performing a peng block. As we do this, we'll see the changing structures of the iliacus and psoas muscles and the psoas tendon. Here we can see an important artery to keep in mind. This is the superficial circumflex iliac artery which can often run quite close to where you might be needling. Then we're going to slide our probe more laterally, and we're going to look at four other important structures. This is the sartorius, the rectus femoris, which will change shape as you slide the probe up and down, or cephalic cordad, and then the tensofascial artery. On the lateral aspect of the sartorius is another structure to look out for. It's this fat-filled tunnel that usually contains a variable number of branches, of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. In the next video, we'll look at some examples of femoral nerve blocks, some of the different appearances of the nerves, and surprisingly, how easy it can be to damage them. Everyone thinks these are pretty straightforward, but they're often not. Thanks for making it to the end. Let me know which plan A block you want next.